Question 2 says, find the value of x if root 5 raised to power 2x minus 3 minus 9 is equal to 116. Now, the first thing I'm going to do, it's, um, this is going to be root 5 raised to power 2x minus 3 is equal to, okay, minus 9. It's equal to, this is minus 9. It's equal to 116. So, at this point, I'll collect like terms. So... So this is going to be root 5, 2x minus 3. Now, minus 9 going over is going to be 116 plus 9. So this is going to give us um, root 5, 2x minus 3 is equal to 116 plus 9 is going to give me, that's 125. So at this point, what do I do to eliminate the square root? So you do what? You square both sides. So at this point, I square both sides so this is going to be root 5 2x minus 3 all square is equal to what 125 all square if you've ever encountered a rule in mass which says once you do the square root of a square you're going to get back what a so this means when we do 5 raised to the power to root 5 2x minus 3 all square, we're going to get what? 5 raised to the power 2x minus 3. The root and the square will automatically go out. So this would be, now 125 is the same thing as 5 raised to the power 3 all square. So this is now looking like an initial equation. So all I'll do is, this will be 5 raised to the power 2x minus 3 is equal to, now in indices, when you have a raised to the power x bracket y is the same thing as a x times y so this is going to be 3 times 2 this will give us 5 raised to the power 6 so now we have um, our base to be equal we can take the index so this is going to be 2x minus 3 is equal to 6 solving for this question we have 2x will be equal to what 6 plus 3 2x is going to give us what 9 and our x is going to be 9 over 2 which is the same thing as four and a half. Final answer. Okay, so as easy as that, you can simplify this equation. Okay, so the next question says, the Ministry of Business and Industry has planned to employ 54 people who will work in the business sector, 36 people who will work in industry sector only, 12 people who will work in both sectors, and 21 people who will neither work in business nor in industries sector. How many people will be employed by the ministry? Use a Venn diagram. Now, this is a set question. That is why it's employing you to use a Venn diagram. Now, in order to be able to draw the Venn diagram for this, we need to get what the question is saying. Now, notice it says, the Ministry of Business and Industry has planned to employ 54 people who work in the business sector. Therefore, business sector is going to be B. That's 54 people. Now, that's six people who work in industry sector only. I only. That's industry only. It's going to be what? 36. Okay. Then um, 12 people who work both in both sectors. That means B intersection I. That's both business and industry we have um 12 people in business and industry we have um about 12 people then um it says 21 people who will neither work in business nor industry sector therefore then uh that's these people are not working in any sector so let's call it business intersection industry complements okay so that's going to be um 21 people okay now we have this information in essence how many people will be employed by the ministry now there's something i want you to figure out in drawing our venn diagram so let me start this is our venn diagram so the first circle is going to be business and the second circle is going to be um, industry. Now, notice 
B intersection I is this point, so we're going to say it's what 12. Get that? Okay, now notice it said I only. It's going to be what 36. So I only is going to be here. But notice we have um for business we have 54 people. Now it didn't say business only. That means there are some people who are actually working in the industry sector that are also working in business. So to get a uh, B only, B only will be 54 minus the people who work both in um, business and industry. So if I subtract 12, which means I'm subtracting all the people who are in this fair that works in the industry so that I can get the um, business only. So business is going to give us 5 minus 1 is going to give us up 4. 4 minus 2 will be 2. So that means B only is going to give us what? 42. Therefore, 42 is supposed to be here. Therefore, the last one says those who don't work both in business and industry, that business and industry complement is now what? 21. So I'm going to draw it, put it outside. So as you can see, we have um, 42 people work in business only. 42 people work in business only. 12 people work both in business and industry, while um, 36 people work in industry sector only, and 21 neither work both in business and um, industry. So at this point, I can now sum up. So this is going to be 42, like total people in ministry. It's going to be 42 plus 12 plus 36 plus 21. So um, I'm going to sum this up. 2 plus 2 is going to give us 4. 4 plus 6 is 10 plus 1. That's 11. So I write my 1 and I carry my 1. 1 plus 4 will be 5 plus 1. That's 6. 6 plus 3 is going to give us um, 9. And 9 plus 2 is going to give us um, 11. So that's 1, 1, 1. So a total of 1, 1, 1 people was employed by the ministry. Now, this question requires you to state this concept like this and explain it. So once you show a Venn diagram carrying all these informations and how you got your informations, then you will get the maximum mark for this question.